I'm 69 years old. I was born in Piney Point, which is about four miles up the, uh, due north of here. Uh, we crabbed, we swam every bit of St. George's Creek, you know, caught a lot of soft crabs there. Uh, I ended up going to the University of Maryland. But I, I came back to St. George's Island because there's no place in the world like it. My father was a farmer, uh, an oysterman. He hauled some gravel, kind of a jack of all trades. But we had a little farm, farmette type operation in Pawnee Point. We had a cow to milk before we went to school. We had chickens to feed. We killed our own hogs. And I looked at getting this skipjack built as a doctorate degree in the water business. I'd watched them work for a number of years. As a matter of fact, we built it in 1979. So from about 70 on, we watched these boats work. We went with a number of the fellows that was with drudging these rigs. They could catch a better oyster than the average person, get more money for them. And it just looked like a very neat thing to do. So uh, finally culminating with the Chesapeake Bay Field Lab with a mission to use this vessel to educate future generation of young and old people alike. It's a tremendous thing to let somebody steer the boat. You can see their eyes light up and they, they don't believe they're steering it. And even if they go out and a hard crab happens to bite them, that's a unique experience in itself. They know then, never stick your hand down there at one of those clacking crabs. If somebody likes the water, if they like nature, uh, we've got 400 miles of shoreline here in St. Mary's County. We've got some great restaurants. We've got a lot of homegrown restaurants. You know, you can take uh, over on the Patuxent River, uh, down uh, in Ridge at Point Lookout. I uh, can get a lot of fresh seafood. It's a lot of stuff to do down here, and you get away from the Beltway. You can find a, a local uh, charter boat captain that's been, been raised on the river. Uh, you'll find a lot of people here that have been fishing and crabbing their entire life. The absolute best summertime feast that anybody could enjoy down here you set them down to a nice platter of steamed crabs. Steam corn on the cob in the husk alongside of them, and then a little brew that we have, which we call Scully Secret Sauce, which is just some squirty butter and vinegar, and you slop that across that corn after you've got it out to husk. So you got steamed crabs, quartered up tomatoes, not sliced tomatoes. You take a nice big tomato and whack it four ways, set them down there with some J.O. Spice or Old Bay on them, and some corn with Scully Secret Sauce. Finish them up with some good lore about the Chesapeake or about our farming communities. Uh, crack open a watermelon, and then when they say, look, I can't hold no more, get the ice cream out and give them a scoop of ice cream. That's, that, that's top drawer in my book. It's quiet, it's peaceful. Uh, I've never found a better place myself. It's just, it's just a great place, that's all.